Cross Hill community, so good to see you. I'm here with one of my favorite people, Julie Bennett. You've been at our school for some time, correct? I, I have. How long have you been time. here? I've been here as a parent and as a teacher and as a coach, a uh, parent from since 2005, started coaching here in 2010, and teaching here uh, shortly after that, I want to say 2007. Awesome. I still remember the day we hired you for uh, volleyball coaching, uh -huh. and uh, yeah, I felt pretty proud that day when you said yes. <laughs> Um, so you've been a part of our community in many ways for some time. What do you love best about our Cross Hill community? I love the serious opportunities that we have to disciple. That it's so much more about than about behavior modification. It's so much more than a, just about acting like a Christian, but it's about taking it to heart. Whether it happens in the classroom or whether it happens in the um, social events or whether it happens in the gym. And I know, you know, just last night you were having volleyball practice. And how do you spend the first 20, 30 minutes of your volleyball practice? Every day, whether it be a game or a practice, we spend time in God's word, reminding ourselves that why we're here, that we're first to become women of God, we're first to become a developer and a disciple of Christ, and then how to apply that both in volleyball as well as in life. And not only are you training these young women to be excellent disciples of Jesus, but they're pretty good at volleyball too. That they are. So we, we have just some talent. we just qualified for the state playoffs. Tell yes. us a little bit about the team you have this year. It is so exciting. We have a very young team. I have four freshmen, and yet they all start. I have three seniors, and then no sophomores for that matter. But we have taken the league just a little at a time, a little at a time. And we've just finished districts on Saturday, taking second in districts, which is our first actually. Um, and we're headed to our first round of state on Wednesday. One of the best parts of being a part of this community is the memories that we share with our, our students. Um, tell me about the memories that these girls are having as a part of this volleyball season. These girls have developed such a great relationship with each other. Not only do we play on the court, but we have heart sisters in which we pray and interact together, but then they also just laugh and have fun. We had a social just the other day of which they were playing games, wrestling, laughing, talking, and it's those memories that last the lifetime. It's not so much about whether we win or we lost, what our record was, whether we did go to state, not go to state, but it's about those relationships, those memories at the end of the year to say, what is it we'll walk away with? And if I can share one, just happened the other day. Um, we were playing one of our final league matches and uh, Emma got a little confused on the court and she was being called for the ball, but it was on top of her and someone else was supposed to get it. And in her spinning around, the ball landed straight on top of her head, bounced off her head. We continue to play and we won the point. And it's those memories that will last, that will come back year after year as we go, what do you remember that funny story? And that will be one of mine. And you're doing such a great job leading these girls and our entire high school is behind your team. It's so exciting to see, uh, especially a team that's full of freshmen and seniors. So our entire student body, our staff, loves cheering on these ladies. I know at our high school retreat, love also playing against the ladies and yes. trying to test their skills with some volleyball as well. So we're so excited for the state playoffs, but more excited about the work that's being done in transforming their hearts to follow God, both while they're playing volleyball and beyond high school. See you guys next week.